For today's cruise news, we have a ship size controversy that is making major waves on the internet. As it appears that a carnival passenger, for whatever reason, decided to record themselves doing something that is blatantly wrong, immoral, unhealthy, disgusting, illegal, all of the above, to the point to where every person that has viewed her video have decided that not only should she be banned from Carnival Cruise Line and all the other cruise lines out there, she should face fines and even face potential prison time. Also, when it comes to a highly visited but controversial Controversial cruise port over in the Caribbean on the internet people are starting to make the argument stating that you shouldn't get off of your cruise at all when you visit this destination and I do have to admit on one end of it I do agree we'll talk about the details in today's video so getting straight into it have you fine folk heard of the term snitching it's basically the slang word for tattletale here in this digital world here in 2024 we have something called self snitching and people tend to do it a lot on the internet these days for whatever reason they think they're trying to get some type of attention or what we call clout or fame or glory or whatever the case may be in this particular case in my example there is a carnival passenger that was recently on a carnival cruise that decided to i guess try to divulge and show everybody some kind of hack lo and behold she ended up just telling on herself and making a lot of people very mad i'm gonna show you the video clip here in a second and then we'll talk about the details after because i do believe this woman should indeed be banned by carnival cruise lines at the bare minimum Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's I'm going to go ahead and say it. What in the carnival is going on here? Typical carnival activities. I'm joking. I'm just trying to make the very important fun people mad. Obviously, this could happen on really any cruise ship. But ma'am, why? I, I don't understand this. If you're broke and you ain't got no money, just say that. If you guys looked at the video, you pay attention. It appears this woman, I guess prior to recording, she drank the water of that five to six dollar bottle which we could argue is very expensive we'll get more into that in a little bit here however like she drunk all of the regular drinking water and then decided to fill that water bottle back up with the tap water the gray water the nasty water that is mixed in with all of the poo water and everything else whether it's filtered or not honestly i'm just asking like all of you probably are why would you decide to do this you, I guess for whatever reason, decided that you don't want to be charged five or six bucks for the water. I guess I could understand. However, you are on vacation. I'm going to assume maybe, potentially, possibly, you already got the Cheers drink package, so you paid a couple hundred dollars for the drinks, but... Oh no, $5 is too much to the point to where you gotta do something stupid such as this. It's very simple. The water bottles that are in the rooms on Carnival Cruise ships, I consider them to have mini bar status. Meaning, if I don't want to payeth, I don't drinketh. I would also consider this a biological attack. Maybe not to that extent. However, this is extremely unhealthy for somebody to drink. You guys don't know on cruise ships, typically there are two different types of water that is put on board a cruise ship. There's the nasty gray water Water, which all your all your fluids and your solids and all that stuff gets mixed into a very soupy like tank it's very disgusting stuff we're not going to get into it however there is another set of water typically on board a cruise ship that is used for things like showering however it is not for bodily consumption the fact that she put that there put the tag back on it left it there for somebody else to potentially eventually drink What's going to happen? What if they get sick? Now those people are going to go back over to Carnival and try to sue Carnival and swear it's up and down that it's Carnival's fault. It's the fun ship. They're disgusting and they gave me some bad water that's been sitting out in the sun and maybe has been tampered with and Carnival takes the blame and then now it turns to this giant argument that didn't need to exist all because this lady decided to play stupid games because she was broke or... She was just doing stupid stuff for whatever reason to get attention. This is why she also recorded herself. I swear, this new social media world has so many people just dipped in stupid. Yes, social media has provided a lot of opportunities for people. However, you got a lot of people that are literally willing to do anything for just a tiny smidget, a tasty morsel of attention to the point to where they do something like this. I want you to really think about this. As somebody that does make content, you're telling me this woman set this camera up, recorded all of this, edited it, watched it over again, and then uploaded it and said, yeah, this is going to be good. Really? 
really think about that. People like this have what I like to call TikTok brain. They have the attention span of a goldfish, so they can't think things through. Their brain's literally rotting at the core. I swear, here's what needs to happen now. Because I know a lot of people will probably maybe be for this, or some will be against it. Some courses and curriculums in high school and college need to be taken out and adapt to the world that we live in now, the digital revolution. There needs to be a social media one-on-one, not only because of stupid stuff like this. People don't understand how powerful social media is these days. I'm not saying that people won't be smart enough to understand not to do what this woman just did. However, you could understand and imagine, especially on places like TikTok, people will see this and they will start to do this, especially if it were to get, let's say, enough traction, enough attention, and this woman is not penalized for it or at least faces some type of repercussion. I'm also willing to bet, and I'm calling this right now, if this video that she has posted gets enough attention, let's say it gets the attention of Carnival Cruise Line, and they end up inevitably, however rightly so, banning her for life from Carnival Cruise Line, she will then circle back around and say that it was just a joke, she didn't actually leave the water bottle there, it was just for the video that didn't actually happen, blah, 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 blah. Personally, I hope she gets caught, I hope she gets banned, and potentially even fine but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below moving into our next story i spent a lot of time on social media just seeing what the word on the street is when it comes to travel in this particular case cruising there was a post that somebody had made that a lot of people seemed to agree on and there were some people that were kind of against the post that was being made stating that people that go on a cruise and stop in places like jamaica just shouldn't even get off of the ship while there were differing opinions on why somebody shouldn't get off the ship I want to say the reasons as to why kind of made a little sense. Some people said that Jamaica in particular, and I would say and highlight Ocho Rios, to be a very annoying place. You're going to get hassled all over the place the minute you step off of the cruise ship and all that jazz. And, well, it could potentially be dangerous or you're just simply and straight up going to feel unsafe. I would agree only on the side of the fact that it is extremely annoying. Some parts of Jamaica, like really anywhere else on planet Earth, is going to have some unsafe safe places that you as a tourist probably shouldn't be visiting. However, I will negate that other side of the argument. But Jamaica, and like I said, Ocho Rios in particular, because I used to go there all the time, can be a very annoying place. When you get outside that little gate area away from, let's say, the cruise terminal and the cruise port area, you will have people following you, trying to get some money out of you, especially, and I hate to put it this way, actually I don't, but as a black man, back when I had my dreadlocks and stuff, I keep getting called Rasta, I keep getting called brother, he's asking, what do I need? Do I need the ganja? Do I need any women? They would ask me everything under the sun and they would follow me for about 15 to 20 minutes maybe even longer at times and when they realized that I didn't want any of these things from them they would straight up ask for money and I kid you not this has happened every time I have gone to Jamaica needless to say Jamaica is absolutely gorgeous there are plenty of things to see and do whether it be the waterfalls any of the trails all the excursions are usually pretty good and it's very professional when it comes to the locals over there. And overall, if you know where you're going and you know what you're doing and you kind of know the lay of the land, you can have an extremely great time over in Jamaica. If you are visiting a destination like Jamaica where the locals can be a little pushy, you have a couple different options. Of course, you can have pre-arranged adventures and excursions already set up by way of, let's say, a tour operator picking you up by a van or it's a walking tour. You won't typically be bothered if you got somebody that is already native to that place that is escorting you around. You can also, let's say if somebody comes up to you, you can just tell them that you're fine and thank them. You can tell them you already have other plans, don't say anything else because I promise you they are experts at small talk and they will small talk you to death or they will get you to a point in the conversation where they can offer you something in exchange for money or you have a situation where you just flat out ignore them. I wouldn't say do this in every port, but let's say in my case, Ocho Rios, Jamaica, I will ignore everybody there because there are so many people there that are watching you. The minute you have a small conversation with one of the guys, there's somebody up ahead. As soon as the other person walks away, they will take their place, and this whole domino effect will go on and on and on. So, yeah, just be mindful of that. But, of course, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below as well as the other topic that we covered. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, no, as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you later. Take it easy.